So you're looking for a home in far north suburbs of Dallas, Texas? Well, I have a beautiful home to show you today. One of my favorite builders, Dries Homes. We're here in McKinney, Texas in the Painted Tree community. The home you're gonna to see today has 4,000 square feet, four bedrooms, five bathrooms, on a 70 foot lot, dedicated media area, dedicated office area, dedicated game room, three car garage, asking price guys. You got, definitely wanna jump in on this ASAP, asking price one million dollars guys i can't wait for you to see this home because it's decked out get your popcorn ready let's go so as we enter the home i'm loving the modern farm style design of this home i can't wait for you to see inside the house but before we go in i want you to view this kind of 180 wraparound porch okay so you can kind of get views of your views of your side yard your front yard area and we're greeted with a wood and glass accented front door. Come on in. So here we are inside. So one thing I love about this foyer is you're greeted with this beautiful marble, checkered marble flooring. Kind of sets the mood, letting you know this is going to be a modern style farmhouse for sure. To my right, before we enter our first bedroom, we are greeted with a full bath, okay? Beautiful quartz countertops, brass fixtures, hexagon style slate tile, brass fixtures for the shower, beautiful high glass tile for the shower as well. And here we have our first bedroom. Loving the size of this bedroom. This is a queen size bed, but as you can see, you can get a king in here. Very comfortable with two full size dressers. Plenty of natural light. I mean, you got a wrapped around natural light here. Nice little seating area. And walk-in closet. I like to walk in the closet so you guys can see how much space you have. I think for a guest or kid's closet, really nice size. And then straight across you have your formal dining area, right? So they have this uh, set for eight. I think you get 10 here comfortably without overpowering this space. What draws me <laughs> to this room are these beautiful light fixtures. I don't think I've ever seen light fixtures like this before. So I'm loving the light fixture, loving the design of this, of the home. Kind of have a board and batten uh, design for your accent wall here. Kind of give it more, kind of older, older feel, older English feel, but still very modern. Love the way they decorated this room. I actually like that painting. That painting is a <laughs> really nice painting. And to my right, we have our dedicated office area. We're not going to go in there because that's where the sales associates are. But I'm just loving this for I mean, it keeps going, right? You have your tray ceilings here with your beautiful chandelier, uh, the marble checkered floor is carried out through here as well beautiful beautiful foyer can't wait for you guys to look at the great room but before we look at the great room or the heart of the home we're going to go upstairs to look at the game room media area and two bedrooms so follow me so here we are upstairs hey if you're looking to sell or purchase a home in the Dallas land area or anywhere in the country be sure to text ready to number below or contact me. My information is in descriptions. I would love to assist you. So here we are in the game room, right? So many things you can do with this room because of the size. I mean, this is a huge game area. You could put a pool table here. You could put poker here. Uh, if you want this to be uh, a sports area, if you want to have this area to be dedicated to sports, some homes are do to do that. You could put a TV along this wall, more couches, but loving the size of this game area. You have your quartz countertops here, plenty of cabinetry with your uh, gold fixtures. I think it also would be a good idea to put maybe a mini fridge up here as well, freestanding shelves. Loving the gold light fixture. I think it really adds a real elegant 
touch to this room. And here we have our second bedroom. Love the sizes of these bedrooms. One thing about this floor plan is I think the space is distributed quite well. We have a queen size bed in here. I think a queen is perfect. Anything more than that is gonna overpower the space. I think this was creative. They put wallpaper on the ceiling. <laughs> so that's a nice good focal point. And here we have a nice walk-in closet, okay? And this bedroom does have an attached bathroom. We have slate tile, beautiful quartz for the vanity, brass fixtures for the sink, high gloss, I like this pink shelled type design for the shower and slate tile um, as well with brass fixtures. Upstairs you see that we have white oak wood floors in our game area, okay? This right here, we have a very deep closet, okay? Great for games or, or, uh, or equipment that you may need for your uh, sound or uh, theater room area or game room area if you want to use it for a game area. And here we have our third bedroom, okay? Queen size bed, you can get a king in here and it wouldn't overpower the space too much. Two full dressers, plenty, plenty of natural light. And again, guys, great sizes, great size with the closets. I mean, nice size closet, okay? This door here will bring you to this full bath. So of course you can get your full bath from your game area and your media, which we're gonna see here in a momentarily. Slate tile for the flooring. Quartz for the vanity, black fixtures there, black fixtures for your sink, high gloss tile for your shower. I'm loving the emerald green for the shower as well. I'm loving the design and love, love how they, uh, the fixtures that they chose for this home. And media area, you guys know I love a good media area. Let me know what you think of the house so far, guys. What do you think of this media area? <laughs> Comment below, what do you think of this media area? I mean, I love how they're bringing the green throughout the whole entire house. I think the green and the gold makes it look very rich, very elegant. Um, you can get a good 12 people in here comfortably. You have a, this is probably about an 85 inch television set. If you want to even get a 100 inch screen in here, you can. I mean, I'm just loving this theater room, guys. I can see <laughs> watching many movies in here. <laughs> so now let's go downstairs so we can check out the primary bedroom and the heart of the home. So now we're downstairs. So before we check out the heart of the home, let's look at this primary bedroom, right? Loving this primary bedroom. <laughs> Plenty of natural light. You're never gonna have too much natural light, right? <laughs> Tray ceilings, recessed lighting, loving the brass light fixture. You have your speakers here. You have surround sound speakers throughout the whole home or the first level of the home anyway. So setting the mood right when you come in, if you like, because this is a smart home, right? So loving that feature, that's one of my favorite features of any home, it being a smart home. Oversized king bed with two full dressers. You have board and batten walls here for your back wall. This is a different type of green, more like a teal, but I think it's, it, it just makes this room feel and look very, very rich. Loving this primary. And also it's got, gotta have a seat in there, right? <laughs> so you can, you know, perfect place to read, drink tea, coffee. If you wanted to put a TV there, you can. So it's perfect to, to, to enjoy your television set or your art. And here we have our primary bathroom. Beautiful slate tile for the flooring, double vanities, quartz, countertops, Brass fixtures, which are my favorites. <laughs> Brass and gold fixtures are, are always my favorite for the sink and for the cabinets, okay? Loving the light fixture. You have your gold light fixture there. And nice soaking tub. I, this is gonna pass the Dan Can test, guys. I'm 6'1", just so you guys get an idea. I'm 6'1", exact, and I'm in here, <laughs> no problem. Perfect for relaxing after long Long day of work, right? Or doing tours, right? <laughs> Let's look at this huge, huge closet. I'm gonna get all the way to the end. I'm gonna let Dale get all the way to the end. 
I think this is enough for two people, unless you have a ton of clothes like me, but <laughs> this is enough for two people, uh, especially if you custom, you know, did a custom design here, really nice size primary closet. Here we have our water room area, okay? More storage, perfect for linens. And huge step-in shower, guys. High gloss green tile, okay? You have your brass fixtures for uh, your shower as well, okay? Let me know what you think of this primary bedroom. Could you see yourself living here so far, guys? You know I love interacting with you all. So let's talk about the main living area, okay? Gotta have your sliding doors for indoor, outdoor. <laughs> Entertaining, right? One of the main focal points in my opinion, your eyes are drawn immediately to this gas fireplace. Marble accented fireplace, okay? I think it's perfect for a television set. I probably would have in here. I think I'd put a piece of art in here and just use upstairs for, for, for my uh, entertainment space just because of how this whole first level feels. But if you wanted to put a TV here, you can do that as well, okay? Plenty of space here if you wanted to put some shelving or some type of uh, 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 cadenza or something here, you have more than a space to do that. Loving the gold, actually that's brass, light fixture there. And here before we go into the kitchen, I didn't point this out when we uh, showed the formal dining area. We have our butler's area, okay? Perfect place to put your drinks here. If you wanted to put even a wine area here, it would be perfect for that. And plenty of space for storage, okay? And now for the kitchen, and now for the kitchen. If you can get four stools on an island, it is oversized. You have oversized quartz, countertop or island, whirlpool, microwave, oven, refrigerator. Here we have a work area, workspace or prep area, okay? Plenty of counter space guys, plenty of counter space, glass accented cabinetry, loving the green uh, uh, vent hood. We have a five burner whirlpool stove. You also have your Whirlpool uh, dishwasher. Huge, oversized farm sink. This is definitely what I want in my next home. <laughs> Either like a black slate or a white oversized farm sink. You have your brass fixtures there. Okay, I mean, I'm just loving this kitchen area. Let me know what you guys think of this kitchen. Breakfast nook, of course they have it for four. I think four is perfect. I think anything more than that is gonna overpower this space, okay? And before we check out the garage area, we will get a look at the pantry. I've got a lot of women asking, please show the pantry. <laughs> please show the pantry. So I didn't want to forget to show the pantry. And of course that is right next to your laundry area. Nice side laundry area, guys. Sink to get out those hard stains, washer and dryer, there is no space for a refrigerator here. Sometimes that's the, that's the thing now. More and more people put refrigerators in their laundry room, but that's a really nice size laundry area. Again, it's a little bit over 4,000 square feet, guys. So the space here is, is distributed. I mean, it's quite well. Here we have a door to go outside in the backyard, which we're gonna go in just a minute. Garage door open. And this will be our garage. Of course, you can see they have uh, quite a few things here. Uh, this is the model home. So they have a lot of stuff here for storage, but you would have your three car garage there. This would be where you'd air the home most of the time, right? So you have a small, nice mud area here. And let's go to the backyard. So here we are on the back patio. Loving this covered patio. You have a gas fireplace here, okay? So two ways you can get to your patio from your coming right out of your garage area and of course through your living area. So if you wanted to open this up to get a nice breeze, uh, that'd be, that's definitely what I'd be doing on a, on a nice summer day or a nice spring day. And what I would do is I would open this up and maybe even have a screen, screens to come down here instead of having them at your sliding doors, okay? Always love, always love this feature. Gotta have that feature in a home, okay? 
and this is on a 70 foot lot. Now, the backyard looks a tad bit smaller because remember guys, you got a 4, 000, little over 4,000 square foot home on a 70 foot lot. So that's a big house to have on this lot. But you do have enough space out here. If you had uh, pets or if you had kids that wanted to play, you have more than enough space to do that. So let's talk about the location, the location. You're minutes away from 75, 380, and the tollway. So 75 will get you to uh, you know, Allen or downtown uh, Dallas within 35 minutes. You're minutes away from 380. Tollway, you're about maybe 20 minutes away, which will also get you uh, to Dallas as well. Brand new school in this area. I mean, Painted Tree and McKinney, very upcoming area. Beautiful community with many, many different amenities from pool to trails. Uh, a, a dog walk path so definitely if you want to get into this community be sure to contact me i'm daniel hunt dan can the people's realtor follow me on instagram at it's dan can and subscribe the majority of you who watch our channel on a regular basis have not subscribed so join the family especially if you've made it this far subscribe health peace and prosperity to you all and i'll see you guys the next tour bye bye